Hello everyone, in this video, there is a small Q&A about the doubts you had about PicoCAD and Blender. There were few questions that popped up in the last video, I want to answer them all. And I've also got a word from the developer of the PicoCAD that we can export the objects, whatever we are making in PicoCAD to OBJ file, so we can get it inside Blender or any other similar 3D software. So let's get started for this. The first question was about the blurriness of the texture inside the Blender. When I made the model in PicoCAD, it was very pixelated and looking very good in low poly. But inside Blender, there is some automatic filters that are applied in the model and it was looking very blurred. So this is what I did in the last video. This was my render. The solution to it is very simple. You just have to go to the shading tab and find the texture interpolation in your material. So this is the image texture that we added. Go to the first option and set it from linear to closest. Once we are done, you will see that texture is looking perfect in our model and it's just as we made it in a sprite. So we can do a side by side comparison as well. So you can see the left one is blurred and the right one which is done after is looking a little bit more better inside Blender. Next one is a very important tip which came from the host of the PicoCAD Jam. And if you remember my last video, I made the DJ by the night console for the submission of the jam. And I'll show it to you here. So I was telling a solution that if you want to rotate a map, for example, I was making the DJ's console and when I zoomed in a bit, I saw that it was not rotated properly. So my solution was rotating these vertices one by one in the anti-clockwise manner. But there is a small solution to this. So for example, I should have read the manual which came with the PicoCAD, but I'm just a bit lazy. So thank you very much, Benjamin, for giving this tip. You just have to hover your cursor over the console and press the R button, new keyboard. So you can just rotate. For example, I just rotated it for the console. For the ground also, I can do it. I'm hovering over my cursor over here and pressing the R key. You can see the whole map rotates. So it saves a lot of time. Next one is from the developer of PicoCAD himself. He told me that it's possible to export the objects from PicoCAD and I was not even aware of it. So there is an option, a utility called Toolbox, PicoCAD Toolbox. So I'm using an object here to test it out. Does it work or not? So a simple plane and a cube and I've added some maps made in a spread only. So here I'm loading the file, dragging and dropping. Press the one button and you can export it, the OBJ, MTL and PNG file. And you can upload it to your favorite software. For example, I'm testing in Windows one, it's not visible. Inside Blender, let's import it, go to file, and we should find the wavefront obj i think it's here here it is find the folder after you have found the folder you can see it's visible and it looks perfect still it's a bit blurred so you know the solution by now go to shading and close this so we can have a look it looks very good inside blender this next question is also very much similar this person told me to import the object from picocad inside blender directly rather than making the truck once in PicoCAD and once in Blender that I did in the last video. So for this part, it's like a tutorial you can follow along. I made a simple car outline from a cube and I'm making a simple map by using the Pico8 palette. You can add it from your software. You can use Pascal also. You can use A-Sprite if you have it. So just making some rough maps for the car. And once I have them, I'll upload it on the PicoCAD. It's not a very complex mesh, so I'm just adding a few colors and making roughly the same shapes that I have in PicoCAD here also in my software. So I have the rough idea. So once I'm mapping them inside PicoCAD that they are matching. So every part, uh, some parts are reusable. For example, front side of the car, front and back are not reusable. Left side and the right side are reusable. So that we can use the glass part we don't need to make more of those and front part and the back part can be made separately. Just a little bit different so it's apparent. So you can start mapping one by one once you have dropped the PNG file from your software to the PicoCAD and once we have it just go to rendered mode and start mapping them front part, back part, whatever parts you have and you can get a rough idea. I'm going to use and upload this same object inside Blender and check if there is some problem in the mesh and why the mapping is not proper. I'll fix the minor issues inside Blender but the main idea is this. I just need to add the rough maps and I think it looks good already. Not very good but good. So we need to add a wheel also. I don't want to add any external optics from Blender. 
So let's add a cylinder and rotate it. Right leg and rotate it two times. I think 45 degree, you have to do it two times. Once you have it, just set the color to any color you want. I think black would fit perfect here. And we can do one more thing. We can just clone this wheel. So we don't have to resize it every time. Put your car back. And I'm just doing some small minor fixes here. Once our car is ready, let's do the part where we clone the wheels. So right click on the wheel once you have placed it in the proper position and you can just click on clone the mesh. So you have another cloned mesh and place it in the back side. You cannot cut the meshes just like there are bone tools inside Blender. You cannot cut the meshes but it looks good, it's fine. Clone the other mesh to the other side of the car and we have our car ready more or less. So it's a low poly car, not very bad. It's fine. So let's render it out. Export the GIF and for the files, save your file and go to the toolbox, export it, press the one button. You know the drill by now. So let's do it together. Open the PicoCAD toolbox. So once you have uploaded the file, press the one button and you can press the Z button so you can open the files. Now let's go to Blender once more and upload it. By now it, it will become like a second nature for you if you have done it two times. So the car is here. Let's have a look. The shading view. So our materials are visible, you can see, but there is a small problem that it's blurred. So we'll fix that. And there is one more small problem that I'm just looking in the edit mode. That is the geometry of the car, correct or not? I think the mesh is perfectly all right. We can move to the UV editing and start fixing the textures that were not properly placed inside PicoCAD. So let's go to material preview and tab into edit mode. Press three so you can go to face select and select one face. After that, you can adjust and edit the all the faces, whatever they are required. They are not matched properly and change the geometry also here. Also make the texture to the closest. So it, it is very sharp and good. I'm just doing the minor fixes one by one for all the parts. Mostly the glass part was not proper. So that's why this, this is the only part that's taking a little bit more time. So let's do it for again for all the four directions. Our car is more or less ready. I think it's ready. So I'll duplicate this car and change the geometry a bit just for reference purpose because I'll render an image to check out how the both cars look in the scene. Also, um, after I've adjusted, I think the original one looks better. Let's add a plane and modify it to give it a proper look. So once I add the camera, they render the entire scene properly. So here it is. Let's add some lights also and some glow lights inside the car as well. So the model looks a little bit better. I'll also add the headlamps. So the render is much more better. The camera is here. Let's have a look at our renders. So this car is made entirely in PicoCAD, exported from there and just rendered in Blender. So I think both software work together very nicely. And I'll be experimenting with these things a bit. You can stay around, stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.